the rapper in me hates when people call calls me a singer, and the singer in me hates when people calls me a rapper, and I don't know why. People should call me an artist, just call me that. The crazy thing is, child means goodbye and hello. It'd be like that in relationships. You think you're saying bye, and then, you know, two days later, you're saying hello again, so it just, it just be like that. I always wanted to make a drill influence song because I heard a lot of drill songs that are amazing. And I was like, man, what would this sound like as R&B? So when the song came through, I was like, yo, this is perfect. I'm gonna sing on it. I'm gonna harmonize. I'm gonna hit some riffs. And, uh, you know, we're gonna get lyrical on it too. Kissing in Paris, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main is child for now, child, child. Paris is the city of love. We are talking about love on this song, so, you know, even though um, child is not French, they still say it out there. They say it's global, you know, everybody says it. She got me wild and loud. Raw your tired, child for now, child, child. Yeah, it was important that we took it back to Italy just because, you know, child. I just thought about things that were Italian. You know, I think about one of my favorite cars, Ferrari. Uh, F-355. When I started driving, I was like, man, this is, this is amazing. I started driving my other cars less because I'm just like, this one's incredible. I just like the way, the sound of it, you know? I'm still learning about Ferrari, so all the Ferrari owners out there don't, don't talk to me. I'm a Lambo guy for sure. Yeah, she making that shape, breaking up bank to her back, break, wow. It was super important to channel that, that, that rapper side of me in this song because I'm like, the drums are going crazy. Before we even um, added it to the set list, I just thought about fire and smoke and just crowd going crazy. And I'm just like, I gotta have my rapper moment on this. Some girls like 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 to shake that shit to, to some drill, you know what I mean? And uh, I respect it. And I'm breaking the bank. Crazy how you managed to make me into a sponsor. You got me paying for shit. Sometimes, you know, as a man, you know, you feel like you're just, just that. You just feel like you're just a sponsor. And that's it. Somebody that's just like, taking care of things until they figure out the next move or whatever they trying to do. And it's just like, dang, you got me paying for everything. And I'm over here like giving you my love and whatnot. And for you, it's just that, like, ciao. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30 day trial before I made my mind that it's always, hey, trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. I feel like this is what it's like in love and relationships, you know? You got two days before I'm like, it's over. And then the next you're like, damn, man. You got 30 days before I'm done with you. She don't want Hallmark. She want AMS and I'm inclined. Face car valid. No, I never pressed the climb. Some girls are just like, ah, it's cute to get a card for a birthday. I love you, baby, so much. But really, they just want that credit card so they can go swipe and buy whatever they want. And I'm inclined. Inclined, decline. It took a month to make it to my lobby, it can't be prime. Return policy, she can't be mine. Nah, nah, nah. This is my favorite part of the song, cause it's like, dang, you ain't been in my house in over a month. You know, it took you a month to make it to my lobby. It can't be prime and like, not just prime, like Amazon prime, but like more so like, you know, prime is like a thing to, you know, where you use to describe something that's like amazing. And uh, you know, return policy, it can't be mine. You know, I thought it was prime. So, you know, it's coming a month late. It's this, this can't be my, my package right here. Shout out to the horns at the end, the musicality of it, you know, it just ended very strong. You know, I didn't have to really do much over those horns. That's my brother, Charlie. He did his thing. He heard the song. He loved the song, but he was like, it needs something. 24 hours later, he's playing me some horns. He's like, nah, you're gonna love it. And I hear it. I'm like, I do love it. So yeah, shout out to Charlie Heat.